Hey everyone, Chef Shea Bear here. Uh, today is Walk Wednesday, and I'm going to show you how to make your homemade teriyaki sauce. It's real simple. It's not my recipe, but my recipe is pretty much the same as what you're going to see here. Um, what I usually do is I substitute some stuff with uh, like white vinegar or white wine or something like that. But I'm going to do it the way the recipe calls and it's real easy I'll show you how to do that so stick around okay guys so this is the stuff we're going to be using we've got a cup of water here one cup and we've got um, three-fourths cups of soy sauce which this is what I'm using here we're gonna use uh, five teaspoons of brown sugar now I've only got four in here okay because it's going it calls for honey too and I don't want to make the girls uh, sugar level go real high so the, I'm only using four but it calls for four um, teaspoons um, and this is going to be one tablespoon of honey here and um, it calls for a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder now I don't have any garlic powder besides I like using this this is I just cut this up this is um, just uh, this is three cloves of garlic here about medium sized cloves I'm going to use about half of this which is going to be about uh, it's going to be about uh, maybe a teaspoon um, you're going to want two tablespoons of cornstarch which I've already got in this bowl and a quarter cup of cold water now what you're going to do is mix this up I'm just using a little fork you mix this up okay in here and we're going to put it in here in our pan here in just a few minutes okay so let me get you set up over here so you can see what's going on over here at the pan okay so what we're going to do is we're going to start off we're going to pour our water in our soy sauce it's not quite three-fourths a cup because but that's all I had so now we're going to put our garlic in There we go. And we're going to do our ginger here, which is, how much was that? A half a teaspoon. This is a one teaspoon, but uh, so we're just going to put, whoops, about, that's about a half a teaspoon. put this in here and our brown sugar now you guys might have seen this this is just for me it doesn't call for this but about maybe a half a teaspoon doesn't take much of that stuff at all now we're going to put our honey in here one tablespoon alright now what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up to temperature And I'm going to use a whisk. I got a whisk here. And you're just going to want to go just till it starts, just till it's warm. And it's there. Now, this is where we're going to add this in here. 
This is our uh, quarter cup of water and two tablespoons of cornstarch. I'm going to put that in there. We're going to mix it up. I'm going to bring this to, oh, you know, medium boil. And then I'm going to let, let it cook. And I'm going to stir it occasionally. And I'm going to let it cook for uh, five to seven minutes is what it calls for. But that's usually about right. I usually go about five minutes. But So, there we go. And then this part's going to be done. Uh, then I'm going to cook some chicken in the wok with our homemade sauce here but right now let's go ahead and we're going to let this cook okay guys i let it go about six minutes i did put a oh i don't know maybe a teaspoon of onion in there just to kind of give it a little kick that's it now you're done all you have to do is let it cool down and bottle it up you can strain that out if you want to i normally do but what it'll do it'll thicken up See how thick that is? Piece of onion on there. Nice. Now I'll show you kind of what this is store bought here. And I'll show you about the consistency it should be. Now it'll also thicken up more once it cools down. See? It's kind of like that. But, I'm not going to worry about, yeah, perfect. I'm not going to worry about it uh, bottling it up because I'm going to use it in my chicken. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my wok ready and I'm going to make my chicken. So if you guys just wanted to see how I made, made my sauce, there you go. But if you want to see me make the chicken, it's just going to be real quick. All I did was... <coughs> Excuse me, took a bunch of chicken thighs and I just cut them up. I didn't like, kind of like Cuban, but I just uh, Cuban them up. Um, I just, I deboned them, I skinned them, and I just, uh, just cut them up. No, no particular way or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get this hot and get this ready. And once it's ready, I'll start throwing, I'm going to do my onions first and then I'll do my I'll add the rest of my garlic in there and then we'll we'll fry them up. Um, monkey got these noodles so I'm gonna make these noodles for them and well for me I'm gonna have some too. I think they'll probably put theirs on top if I'll just put mine on the side. So starting to get warm so Let's get ready for the chicken. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the skins off my chicken that I took off my chicken and I'm going to cook them in here and it's going to make some it's going to make some nice grease down at the bottom of there. See that? And it's going to also help flavor the pan for me so I can use less oil, if any at all. So it's a little more healthier and of course you don't have to throw this away. You can actually freeze it and use it again. Or you can cook it up. I like to eat the skin, but... And I usually fry up a couple kind of crispy for Bruno. But... So that's what I'm going to do. There was a... Uh, I've had people ask me before, how much chicken do you use? Well, it depends on how, how many people you're cooking for. Uh, I just went ahead and used all 10. Because once you cut it up and cook it up, it does shrink up a little bit. But... Uh, a lot of people gauge it one piece per person. I like to have a little extra, especially if I'm having company. So I gauge it about two pieces per person. Like I said, there's a little extra in here, but that's okay. So once I take this out, then we'll start adding our chicken. Or no, then I'll, I'll do the onions and then we'll go to the chicken. So stick with me if you're still interested in this. And... Uh, Real simple, real simple recipe, so. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, so I let that render down some. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back in a bowl here. See how much uh, grease and stuff came out of that. 
this was a lot. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take some of that out of there, well most of it out, because I want to use some butter for the for the uh, onions. And what I've got here is I've got two tablespoons here of butter. I'm going to melt this in here. Just kind of want to go on a like a medium high. If it starts popping and stuff, you're too hot. Which I pop all the time, baby. But anyway, so now let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and put our onions in. These are getting put back in, so I'm not going to fully caramelize them or anything like that. I just want them to start getting brown. And then we're going to take them out. We're going to do our chicken. And then we'll put these back in. So... There we go. Nice, that nice sizzling sound. And also, if it starts drying up on you a little bit, you can take some of this and add back in there. Look at that. How yellow that is. Yeah, and I still haven't had, had to add any oil. All I did was add the butter for some flavoring. So, I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I can do this now. We'll go ahead and put our our garlic in here this stuff is good for you guys great for the heart and it's proven so all right. there we go now if you want you take some of your homemade soy sauce or homemade teriyaki sauce see how much that thickened up now perfect a couple this is just a teaspoon in there. You don't have to do it this way. It's just what I'm doing. Uh, <coughs> like I always say, guys, it's your recipe. Recipe. If you like it, there's no wrong way to do it. Then. So, I'm going to turn this up a little bit. Now, I'm going to let this cook for a couple minutes. And then we'll take this out. We'll start putting our chicken in. I got a lot of chicken over there because last time uh, we didn't have enough. And everybody was complaining and smacking me around that I didn't make enough. So, this time... See behind the camera, I just got smacked. See, look, my hat is dented where she hit me. So, <laughs> so, so anyway, guys. I really do it. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll be back with you. Hang tight. Okay, as you can see, they're not clear brown, but they're just starting to brown up. Just took a couple minutes, and I'm going to take them out. You can leave them in if you want, but I'm doing so much chicken that I'm just going to take. Well, most of it out and the, but it's going to go back in and cook a little bit once the chicken gets back in there or gets once the chicken gets done I should say but what I did with my chicken I coated it with uh, I think it was it probably about because you know I didn't really measure it but I'm guessing about a tablespoon because I used a lot of chicken. I just coated it in, um, uh, yeah, <laughs> the white stuff. Uh, what's Flour. it called? Corn, Flour. corn starch. Corn starch. Okay, so we're just gonna put some of this in here. As you can see I got a lot of this. I'm just going to do like half and half. I also put some seasoned salt, a little bit of lemon pepper on here. Season your chicken any way you want. But that's what everyone here likes, so that's what I do for them. Alright, stick around. I'm just going to flatten this out. Kind of turn it over until it starts getting brown. Then I'll do the next batch, and then we'll put it all in. And we'll put our teriyaki sauce and then we'll start mixing it all together okay so now we're going to add the onions and whatever grease or whatever's in there that's fine just go ahead and dump it all in there and our first batch of chicken there just dump it in give it a nice little stir
Now, I'm going to add, okay, that handle got hot. Great. All right. We're going to add some of this in here. You may or may not have to add some more. It's up to you. Now, I'm going to give it a quick mix. And I'm going to let this simmer. Oh, 10 to 12 minutes, maybe 15. And I'll bring you back and show you what we got. It's actually only been about 10 minutes. So, as you can see, it thickened up. Uh... It'll reduce if it's still like if it's just a little bit too saucy for you. What you can do is add a a teaspoon at a time of your dang it <laughs> uh, stuff <laughs> of your this stuff <laughs> cornstarch cornstarch or flour. You guys can use flour too. Just add a teaspoon at a time, add a teaspoon, stir it up a little bit, see if it starts thickening. Once it starts thickening, you're good to go. Or if you want a little more soupy, a little more sauce, add some more of your, your stuff in here. Or you can just add water. You can add um, half, a, half a cup, half a glass of wine, yeah. That, that'd be mom. But um, <laughs> if you want to use wine, use white wine. But, you know, use a half a cup of... A wine um, which you can add in anyhow it doesn't matter it's now your recipe make it how you want it monkey has tried it but I'm gonna plate it up we'll show you what it looks like and I'll be back with you and we'll do our as monkey calls it ending so hang tight guys okay so we had a change of plans on the noodles I'll explain that to you here in a minute whoops Whoops. It's only just these noodles you just boil for four minutes, add a little bit of this, stir fry them for about 30 seconds, and we're ready to go. So there's that, but These noodles didn't turn out. I don't know why. It says two cups of water for one pack. Well, I made two packs, so I used two cups or four cups of water. Well, apparently that was too much, so. Alright, guys, we're going to dish this up. And, uh, I'm going to try it out. Okay, guys, so this is what it looks like. Turns out pretty good. Now you can you can use rice, which she was going to, and then all once she wanted noodles. That didn't pan out, so I had some more of these other kind that you've seen me make. I said it's only gonna take about four or five minutes. She was like, okay. So <laughs> I mean put these on a wrap. They're really good on a wrap. Yeah, they are. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna give it a shot and then we'll let you go. Here, let me get you turned up here. Like I said, monkeys monkey has already tried this. I tried a little piece. Her mom's already ate. She said it was good, so she likes the chicken. You like the chicken better than the beef tips? Just that they find the chicken more tender. Yeah, because our beef tips, Means they're not real tender, but. Some of them were tender and some of them weren't. Yeah. And when I cut them up myself, you know, I can cut all the gristle and everything out. So. Right, right. Mm. This is so good. <laughs> mm. And there you have it. So, for those of you that stuck around for the second half of this video for the chicken, thanks for sticking around. But it was mainly, this video was just based on making my own teriyaki sauce because I had told you I was going to show you how I make it. And, uh, it's very good. Thank you. I don't know why she's whispering, but she is. So anyway, guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. Always try to have something warm for Monkey when she gets off work. So <laughs> she's a lucky girl, huh? Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> we had a lasagna the other night. It was gone in what? The second day it was gone. Yeah, we ate it up. Yeah, and what I make, I made something, we ate it up that night. What was it? I don't remember. Made something, it was gone that night, last night. Wasn't it? Ribs, last night, oh, yeah, gone. The ribs, they're yeah. gone. <laughs> you made them last night, yeah, they yeah, were I was really gonna, good. I was gonna do them on a the grill, but then I was <laughs> watch these guys make these ribs and one guy did did ribs in a crock pot and I thought man I, I want to try that so I cooked them on low for like eight hours and then I put some barbecue sauce on top stuck them in the oven preheated oven on broil for about five minutes <laughs> man they just you pick it up and the bone just fell right out they were good I'll do that one for, if I knew it was going to turn out like that I would have filmed oh, that one but I did awesome. <laughs> yeah that were. was the best ribs he ever made yeah, so, no. all right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Monk, anything you want to add or say? No. Mom, anything you want to add or say? Okay, so, with that being said, <laughs> <laughs> Shaper, the myth, the man, the legend, golf for always pick on her. So, uh, the myth, the man, the legend, golf for now. <laughs> so, she's out. Bye, y'all. You want to say bye, Mom? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that was her moment. <laughs> See you next time. Bye-bye, guys.